Because my last two high effort videos completely flopped, I bring you a tutorial video that might actually make me some money. At least I hope so. This is how you can use your PS5 DualSense on PC with any game that supports a controller. Now for most modern games like Cyberpunk here, all you need to do is connect one end of the USB cable into your PC and the other into your controller and it should work right off the bat. But what if you want to use this thing wirelessly? Go to your desktop, press the Windows key and search for Bluetooth. Once you're in Bluetooth settings, click on Add Device and then select Bluetooth. Now what you need to do is press and hold the Share and the PlayStation button on your controller at the same time until you see these blue lights flashing. Now the controller should appear on your screen. Just click on it the controller will be paired and the light bar will be solid blue. But now if I try to use the controller on Cyberpunk, it just doesn't work wirelessly. On the other hand, it does work wirelessly on a game like Spider-Man, but there is no haptic feedback or vibration. So now the question is, what to do if the game doesn't support this at all or doesn't work with it wirelessly? Here's what you gotta do. In the description, you'll find the link to this page right here for DS4 Windows. Click on download and then click on download again. Select where you want to save the file and click save. Now open the zip file and extract it to wherever you want. I'm just gonna do it on desktop. Navigate to the extracted folder and then select DS4 Windows. The first time you start it, it will ask where to install it. I'm just gonna choose program folder. And now when you're on this screen, make sure to check the option for DualSense device support right here. But if you missed it on your first boot up, all you gotta do is go into settings, device options and then select DualSense controller support from here. Keep in mind once you do change this option, you're gonna have to restart DS4 Windows so just close it and start it again. Now if you try to connect your controller to your PC with a wire or by Bluetooth, you'll see that it appears in the DS4 application right here. Once the controller is connected, you don't want to close DS4 Windows, you want to minimize it. Now if I boot up into Cyberpunk with the controller connected wirelessly, you can see that it works flawlessly. And now you can also use the controller with games that don't support the PlayStation controllers at all like Red Dead Redemption here. Keep in mind that when you use DS4 Windows you will have Xbox controls on the screen because what the program does is makes your computer think that you're using an Xbox controller when in reality you're using a PlayStation controller. The controller now also has vibration support even when using wirelessly and you can even use the trackpad on your PS5 controller as a mouse. One thing to keep in mind though is that once you do this you are going to have to pair your your PlayStation 5 controller with the PS5 again because until you do that the controller will now try to connect to the last connected device. So to pair your PlayStation 5 controller with the PS5 again use the USB-C cable that you use to charge your controller and connect the controller with the PS5. Once you've done that you just have to press the PlayStation button on your controller again and now you can disconnect the wire and use the controller like normal on your PS5. Congratulations you made it to the end of the tutorial hopefully it worked for you if it didn't let me know in the comments down below. As always thank you all so much for watching like, share, subscribe. See you next time.